Hey guys, it is your boy Uncle P. I hope my sound is good. Is my phone good? Let me get it. <laughs> All right, guys. I really need to get a hang out of of of, of this device because I'm sure that's not what I played on on Pressy because that was just seriously awkward. <laughs> Oh man, I'm loving my new devices. Guys, it's your boy Uncle P obviously here yeah, with some more content. Today is Thursday the 18th of November. It's 8 a.m. I am coming from the gym. I'm, 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 I had a good session. Um, I'm a bit tired. But I was already smoking earlier on. I actually started shooting earlier on. Um, but I stopped for, for some reason. Um, the topic that I was discussing earlier just felt a bit too deep. And my mindset wasn't right for it. Sorry guys, I'm having coffee. It's very hot, so I'm going to sip it. I know a lot of people hate people that sip. Whatever. So, guys, um, I want to talk about podcasts. I want to talk about podcasts and... Uh, how you start your own podcast, how you can get your own podcast started. But I'm not focusing solely on podcasts. Um, also, I'm going to be talking about just starting in general, starting anything in life. Um, how do you start? Where do you go? How do you go about doing it? I think the biggest issue, especially, and this is mostly, I'm going to call it black advice. Okay? Black advice, or rather yet, how do you advise a black person? You see, I feel like as black people, we don't like each other's success. We don't want each other's success. And the reason is those that are successful tend to look down on those that are not. And the always tend to make those that are not successful feel like they are lazy, like they're not working hard enough, like they're not doing enough. Um, and also make it look like their success came on their own. Like, you know, they got successful without the help of anybody. Like, it's, 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 it's something that has become so common that we don't even discuss it, but we feel it. So it becomes very hard to, to kind of help the next person. Guys, this is smoke and bake, so let's start smoking so we can get baked. a very big issue so what i've realized that's what's happening now is especially with black people is in order for them to support you you need to support them so for example in order for them to follow your content you need to follow their content even if they don't have content the worst of it is if they like your content and you don't like their content, but you still need to follow them. So it's almost like they are supporting their help comes with conditions and T's and C's. We just don't support each other because what you're really doing is dope and I really appreciate it and I really like it. And that has become a big problem and that's what stopped us from, that's what is stopping a lot of us from succeeding, especially within our own communities, with, within the people that know us. Uh, it's very difficult. So, I said I was going to give you guys some podcast advice because I've got a lot of friends who are starting podcasts. Suddenly, <laughs> I guess I've inspired a lot of people to do this shit. Apparently, it's easy. What you got to do is talk. So, they haven't really started. Some of them haven't. One uh, stated that he shot a, con uh, a video, but I told him that unfortunately, his video is old. He can't post it anymore. What do I mean by that? Guys, when you're going to be shooting a podcast, and especially if you're going to be covering topics that are trending, you need to know when to post your video. You can't have a topic that's trending on Tuesday, put the video on Thursday. 
everybody has spoken about it. People are probably over it. Okay. So you need to be sure that when it's trending within 24 hours, you, 24 to 48 hours, your opinion is out there. Anything more than that, you're probably just going to be saying what everybody else has said. That's one. That's on the content part. Um, picking your content or rather yeah, choosing what you're going to be doing, guys, always go to things that you really love. Now, I want to show you guys something. I am I'm a sports person, okay? So I, I'm a former, I really want to fight again, but when it happens, it happens. So I, I'm all about MMA, you know? Combat sports, oh, that is Jacoby, yay! Um... Everything MMA, GSP, yay! You know what I'm saying? Ah, come on now. I've got books, videos. Um, you talk to me about combat sports, I can tell you. I can tell you who's going to win, who's going to lose, what's happening and all that. So you would think I would do a combat sport um, podcast or something like that. Yeah, I used to have one, many of them. But I stepped away from it because there's too much politics on that part of the world and it was just not worth it. It was worth it because the podcast was very popular. Um, the community was really there. But I, it, um, it didn't sit well with my spirit because I lost a lot of friends, a lot of relationships because of those podcasts. Because sometimes you have to reveal things. So I don't know if you guys know Joe Rogan. If you don't, I'm going to put a picture of him and a link. Just check out the Joe Rogan experience, this podcast and what he talks about, although he goes and talks about other stuff, also politics and so forth, but just the MMA part, like, I used to only talk about MMA and things like that, but anyways, when you start choosing what you want to do, do, do something that you're really passionate about, something that you know you're going to be consistent with, so when I decided to go back to doing podcasts again, the one thing that I know I really enjoyed doing was um, talking to people just about random things, you know, advising people, especially relationships and just about life. So that's where I usually focus. But I know you've checked out most of my new latest content. It has to do with people's tweets and things like that. It's something that I'm trying out. Um, it feels a bit okay. But eventually when I get the flow, guys, you need to understand, you just, just start. When you get the flow, you'll find the rhythm and people will come to your podcast because they know what they're expecting from your podcast. Like if you check the McG, uh, McG's got different type of things where there's one way they're just talking about what's happening on social media, what's trending. Then they've got interviews with celebrities, uh, you know, so it gives them different type of content. Um... Guys, the most important thing about, uh, well, not really the most important thing. Well, the most important thing about starting a podcast, okay, you need a phone. You need a phone with a really good camera, okay? Right now, I'm recording using a phone, okay? Um, I'm going to try to move. You see how my light kind of, you know, gets darker, then it tries to get me. It's because it's a phone and I'm using the front camera. So the focus moves and I got two bright lights in front of me which is reflecting towards me and this is literally a white wall. Literally, that I just painted white. The studio is on the opposite side and I've got other stuff happening around. I'm sitting on a high chair. I've got my, um, my sound card. So this is the sound card that basically allows me to... You know, awesome. Do things like that. Um, do some violence. You know, it also allows me to control my microphone sound. Um, if I feel like my my voice is too loud, and also the headset, so that I can listen to what's happening. I can also obviously sort out my bass, my mate, my travels. Everything is here now. I've got a second device. I'm gonna show you guys miss what the device that I'm talking about. So it, it's something like this. But the one that I have is bigger and it's different. Guys, this is a Chinese version of the sound card. So if you look here, you've got your volume, your echo, you've got everything, and then you got your laughings and everything. This device, give me a second. It comes with this filter. This is not the mic it comes with, but it comes with a mic. It comes with a mic similar to this, okay? So it's that filter and...
stand. That's the same stand that's holding it. That's the same stand you guys have seen us use on the up, uh, on the other studio when I'm recording with Mo. Now, guys, all these things here, I think if I'm not mistaken, it costs 800 bucks. All of us, 800 bucks. If at most 1.2, I just can't remember. But it's not 1.5. Once you have this, all of these devices, okay, connect to your phone. Listen to me, it connects to your phone so that you can actually have this quality sound. I'm assuming my sound is quality. I've been messing up my microphone uh, uh, sound lately. Sometimes it's too loud, sometimes it's too uh, whatever. But you actually happen to get sound. It's literally one cable connected to your jack on your phone. If you use the iPhone that doesn't have a jack, hey guys, this is not a tutorial, bro. Uh, mark a plan. But if you use a camera, it's even easier because the camera will give you better quality, will give you whatever, whatever, you know? So this is basically the setup, guys. It's your phone and this device podcast done. Now, you're thinking, okay, but Uncle P, I don't have the 800 bucks, but I do have the talent to do what you're doing. Wada, wada, wada. Okay, then you just need a phone. Literally, guys, go find somewhere beautiful, a nice background, Put your phone there, use your phone's microphone, and just speak loud. Take your headsets, plug it on the jack, and your headset usually has a microphone right there. Use that to record. And you will get good quality sound. You just need to make sure either you have a black a background, a white, a gray, a whatever color you want, or even you can put flowers and things like that, like you know when you check out our studio. That's it. The thing is, you just need to start. Start. Have content. Know what you want to talk about. Stay focused on what you want to talk about. And be consistent about it. Very soon, I'm going to be doing reactions to other people's contents, to other people's videos, to other people's stuff. All that is part of this. Whether you're doing the same thing that I am doing, but people might like your vibe more. It don't matter. If you want to be a copycat, be a copycat. Why shouldn't we support you? You know how many Americans are doing the same thing? YouTubers, TikTokers, everybody's doing the same thing. But everybody's succeeding at the same time. Our problem is we want to succeed alone, black people. We want to succeed alone. And we never ever start. We talk so much about starting things that we never start. So giving you guys an example of the podcast and the things that you need in order to start small was well, just an example to show you how easy it is to do something like this. That you don't need to think that I'm doing anything special or that I'm any better than you because I'm literally, what phone is this? This is a Huawei Y9. Huawei Y9. The one recording right now. Front camera. The one where the camera slides out on top. That's what I'm using to record right now. Um, I was going to take my Samsung and record the opposite side so I can show you guys. Give me a second. I think I switched off. Okay. So just want to show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to use my phone. I, I, I'm quite good in editing. So this is what you guys are going to be seeing right now. So guys, this is the device that I'm talking about that I'm currently using. This is the one that I showed you guys earlier on. Okay. And literally, the microphone is sitting on that table there. This is how messy everything's at the back. Okay, that's the microphone I'm currently recording with. And there's the phone. Guys, look, my phone is even cracked. Can you see? The phone is freaking cracked. And then I've got these two lights right here. And that's the setup. Podcast has been done. This is what you guys are literally seeing right now. And. If you guys wanted a different angle, you guys could literally put a camera on the opposite side. If you had two people, you see when you're watching the MacG podcast or somewhere where they're switching cameras between different people, they're using three cameras. So they got the focus cameras, which focuses on the individuals alone. And then they've got the angle camera. Uh, sorry, the portrait camera, which focuses on the both of them. All these tricks, guys, are not that difficult to do. I promise you. You can do crazy shit like this 
and people are gonna be like, oh my god, what is he doing? That is so cool, man. How did he do that? Guys, you are using your freaking phone. And the quality all depends on the phone. As you can see, the quality I get on this phone and this phone is different. Back camera, front camera. Normally, I would suggest you use your back camera, but I use the front camera because I want to see myself and I want to see what's happening. And then when we start talking about editing softwares, come on, there's so many out there for free. All right. I think you guys get it. So what you realize is when I edit the video later on, I'm going to play around with the two footages, okay? The sound is extremely important, how I link the sound, okay? And you guys are going to see how I'm just going to play around with it. I'm going to probably create a nice one minute, 30 minute segment, which I'm going to put out there to promote this specific um, uh, YouTube um, uh, show. <laughs> I'm uh, missing my words. But guys, yo, look, our problem is what? We don't advise each other, right? Like, I could have lied to you guys and said this equipment about 5, 10, 15,000 rand. I could have told you I'm using a Canon D500, D5, XLR, 4K, 8K. If you have the money for those equipment, do it. But I promise you, I know people that got YouTube channels with millions of subscribers and they're using their phones. And they don't even have the equipment we have or I have. Stop looking for excuses, black child. The problem with us black people, we're always looking for excuses. And because of those excuses and the lack of starting things, we become bitter towards each other. Look, this advice is for anyone, for any religion, for any culture, but... I just want success for black people so badly that Everything I talk about, everything I do, it's, it's, it's so focused on us succeeding, on, on us just living and breathing. I look at social media and how every single day I see ladies selling themselves. It's like the only thing that matters to right now to a, a, a black woman is be having a fat ass. When you have a fat ass, your ass is juicy small figure and you yellow now it doesn't even matter even dark skin girls have grown that confident yes sisters because beauty comes in different different flavors but there's more to a black woman than a fat ass man there's more to a black man than success than being able to provide adequately what do you bring to the table Oh, gosh, I'm not going to go there. But you understand what I'm trying to say, guys? It's like we've minimized ourselves to objectives, to objects. Like we've, we've made ourselves objects. We're turning ourselves into objects. And we're minimizing ourselves. Our values have become like objects. A chair's purpose is to be seated on. So if it loses a leg and you can't sit on it anymore, its purpose for being what it's supposed to be intended for is no longer there, therefore it's useless, it can be discarded. So a girl with not a fat ass, eh, you know, if she don't look like this, eh, you know. But now it's like, okay, dude, if I look like this, you gotta look like that and have that. And now you're sitting there thinking, oh, wah, 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 wah. We're creating all this drama, we're creating all this shit. Yo, guys, a quick one before I forget. So today I'm wearing Uncle P. So obviously, like I told you guys, if you guys watch my podcast, you know the Uncle P brand has changed to BMF. Big Muscle Factory. Yeah. Yeah. Big Muscle Factory. Literally, as you guys can see, Uncle P is getting big. Uh, obviously, to promote my own, my new clothing brand, Big Muscle Factory. So like I said to you guys, if you guys have ever seen the t-shirts that I wear, tired and sore, and back for more so if you like what i'm wearing guys i can hook you up the only difference is it will not have the uncle p on it so it will it will have the bmf branding around it so show your boy some love um i think there's something cool at the back yes yeah, uh 
Sorry, let me see if I can turn around. It's got a back. So, if you like that design, what happens is, guys, you see the front and the back design. It's two designs. So, that basically means if you were buying this in the BMF uh, version, you would be buying two t-shirts if you liked both designs. So, this would be the first design, but this design would either be in front or at the back. Okay? So, if I made you a t-shirt with this design at the back, you would have BMF here on top and then the full BMF on to here. So, if you had this design here like this, then you have the small BMF on top there and somehow I try to incorporate BMF in front. So, if you're doing videos and pictures, the branding always shows. I'm going to try to uh, uh, test out some new locations. I'm thinking here at the bottom uh, for the branding. But yeah, man, the nice thing is on the next room right behind me, that's where I do all my clothing and branding. Um, I've got all the machines and everything, so that's pretty cool. I can always try out new things, guys. And guys, I want to thank everybody that is sharing love and support. I get a lot of inboxes of people giving me ideas of uh, what type of t-shirts I should be releasing, what kind of stuff I should be talking about. Oh, guys, thank you. You guys are beginning to send me links on content that you think I should discuss and give my opinion on. All that is freaking amazing. Really, really amazing. But, guys, why we black people, we like to talk too much? So there's this guy at the gym. <laughs> this guy I see him every day, guys. Every day. I see this guy every day. And, yo, Uncle P, man, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Every time greeting, compliments the t-shirt. Yo, I got to get myself some, man. Definitely this end of the month, I'm going to hook myself up when I get paid. He forget that he said that three months ago. Every end of the month, <coughs> every middle of the month or every close to end of the month, he makes the same statement. So then he makes things very awkward between us because then he starts like, avoiding me every end of the month until we get to the 10th or the 15th. It's like, oh man, I haven't been seeing you. Dude, what the hell you mean you haven't been seeing me? Every time at the dumbbells, when I, you see me come going to the dumbbells, you run to the machines in the corner, you literally avoid me. So I just like when people make orders of t-shirts without actually physically paying me the money or when I send them the invoice and they don't pay into the company's account, I just assume they don't want the t-shirt and the order was just, you know, like almost cloud chasing, like to just please me. But anyway, so this guy at the gym, yeah, so now he's, he avoids me. Because of that. But the thing that really gets to me is... People that talk about like, yo, dude, man, what's happening, man? What you been up to? I'm like, oh, no, I've been shooting the podcast. And he's like, oh, shit, that's dope, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I still need to subscribe, man. I'm going to definitely subscribe and binge watch your whole podcast. Yo, but for it. I'm grateful the channel is going to 103 subscribers. And I've got... 27 reoccurring subscribers so people who come back and watch the videos and consistently but it breaks my heart that people that you know bro people like yo like you know to, to go to youtube and click on that subscribe button and the notification bell people i don't know are you guys worried about your data because if it's data you can switch off the data on YouTube until you buy Wi-Fi. You literally can do that. But you know how much you're supporting somebody by literally doing nothing. Imagine one day you're going through the most and you just, you got nothing to do. you bored and then you just, ah, YouTube suggests one of my videos and you watch it and then, Bam, that's the video that hits you. Bro, I'm telling you, it's not going to be these motivational speakers. It's not going to be one of these influencers. You see, 
the things you need to understand. The celebs and the influencers have already left that poverty line. They're already on them, you know, I'm a big boy, big girl kind of vibe. They don't remember the struggle. Us, who are still at 100 subscribers, who are still down here, who are still talking to y'all, still understand the struggle of trying to make it, of wanting to make it. So when we talk to you, we ain't talking to you out of cloud chasing or talking to you out of, I don't know what, but we're talking to you out of realness because we're right here. And when we interact with you, we interact with you because we actually see your shit. You see, I was, I was, I was, um, I was watching a YouTuber, a, a local YouTuber, and they were this, she was talking about how influencers and celebrities don't engage with their fans, and but they engage with each other, and yada yada yada. You know, we as black people have so much expectations towards each other, it's so freaking ridiculous. You don't see Justin Bieber's fans going, oh, he doesn't interact with us, he doesn't send us messages, he doesn't even respond, he doesn't re You never hear that. Sheesh. Okay. But yet we're not. You want to argue Casper, AKA Bonang, because you are who? Just because you, dude, the reason you are following them and the reason you are there is because you like what they are doing. It's not so you guys can be friends, Baba. How? If you are looking for friendship, then you should have approached her when you saw it, Mall of Africa or whatever, and spoken to her and say, hey, funny friendship. It's like the expectations sometimes are just ridiculous and very unnecessary extremely unnecessary guys another thing that we black people are I just why do we associate associate wealth with fame or success with fame we, we we just can't be rich. We just can't have money. We literally need, people need to know. We must be popular. What was that guy? Sam's, Sam something. That Zimbabwean guy that owned the construction company that uh, Durban July 72 sports cars. Why? You're not even a celebrity. You're not a musician. You, you Nothing. You're a businessman, but you need the people to know. They must know. And then the wrong people knew. Sarah's knew. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm trying to find my laugh. I'm too high. <laughs> The wrong people find out, and then now you have to run. Lose, you lost so much, and that's that's our problem, guys. You don't listen, guys. Just because you have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have Twitter, or whatever social media you you using, doesn't mean you need to be a celebrity. Some people are literally housewives. I've got friends on Twitter. That are housewives. They do nothing. They just housewives. Jay, nothing. They like it's not that they've got content or they want to talk to you about something or nothing. But then they want, they are looking for followers. Like for what? People must follow you for what? To see you retweet things that they will eventually see themselves. Guys, we don't all need to be celebrities. We don't all need to be influencers. We don't all need to... Some of us just need to be fans. <laughs> Seriously. Some of us just need to support others. 
Get your nine to five, make your paper, and support others. Like seriously. <sighs> but yeah. And guys, one more thing. Influencers and celebrities. Guys, those are people, hey? I don't know what's wrong with us. <laughs> we forget that these influencers, they're actually people. They're people, bruh. What the hell are you guys doing? These people have feelings and emotions. You know, so... How we go about attacking them? Listen, guys, yes, their life is public and, you know, we love having an opinion on people's lives, especially when it's public. And yes, everybody's allowed to have an opinion on anything that is public. I personally believe so. But once you have made your opinion, which is an opinion, which is never a fact, although we always think we know facts. Once you've stated your opinion, why do you fight? Why do you literally look for violence it's almost like we are motivated inspired by violence by i guys i don't know i can hear a dog barking Yeah, there's a dog barking far. Sorry, guys. <sighs> my microphones are quite loud, so I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it on my headsets. You know, blacks, blacks don't support blacks, and we always have an excuse, and we have always have something that we're saying negatively. You know, ah, but black people are not loyal. You do this, then they will betray you. They do this, then this will happen. Yo, guys, like I was telling you guys earlier on, at, um, I, like my everyone, all of a sudden, friends, people that I know, all of a sudden want to start podcasts. And for me, I always get excited, you know, and I'm always ready to help, bro. I'm like, yo, dude, you're starting a podcast. Yo, you're going to need this. You're going to need this. You know, when they, hey, do you have money? What's your, your budget like? What you looking like? Show me your phone. What you thinking? And I would advise them, and if I think that they're yeah, shit, I'll tell them straight that shit. You know, I'll give them pointers because I get so excited. I honestly think if I had 300 friends, for example, right now, oh, that's a lot of friends. Jeez, 300. <laughs> if I had 300 friends right now, and 100 of them all started pod, uh, their own podcast at the same time, 50 of them became musicians at the same time. 30 of them became uh, got jobs. Uh, 25 of them became dancers, vixens. Uh, 10 of them, are you guys getting it? So everybody, but in groups, not one became, the, no, all of, like in groups. We are all doing the same thing, you know? If all of them did that, you know how everything links with each other. I've started a podcast now, 10, 20 of my friends have become musicians. I got 20 hosts, guests that can come to my channel. The problem when you want Casper, the celebrity already to come because Casper has a following. But your friend also has two, 300 followers, maybe 100 followers on Twitter and Instagram. When his followers see that he was in your podcast, when he shares it, you're going to get maybe 5 or 10 from him. And if you continue to do it with the remainder of the 30, Eventually, you are sitting on 100, 200 new followers, excluding the ones you already had from your own support system. You see, the problem is, guys, we don't understand that there's a process on how all this starts. You need, first of all, you need to first start. And you need to understand that you can't do it on your own. Never. I don't know why you people think success comes in. Oh, nah, I got this. I got, no, you ain't got shit, bro. Work with people. Stop that. You work with people. I want to work with people. I'm looking for people to work with. People are sending me inboxes. I'm feeling vibes and everything. And eventually, you'll see, it's going to be a whole team up in this bitch. Success is not individually earned. I'm telling you right now. 
So we black people don't want to work with each other. We don't trust each other because we're constantly betraying each other. When the money starts rolling, oh, that's the worst part. So is, are we really going to continue to dwell in that and continue to think like that and continue to just believe that and just leave it at that? Or are we going to say, oh, guys, this shit needs to change. Come on, man. Let's, let's act right. Yo, guys, I'm your boy, Uncle P. Thank you guys for been listening to me enough. I've spoken about podcasts, how you can start your own podcast. I've given you guys advice. I'm your boy, Uncle P. Much love. Peace.